Portland. We're working to win all of our economic human rights for everybody and to abolish poverty for good, period. That's what power is. That's what we stand for. And that's what we do. And if you haven't joined us already, please do. Um, so we're gathered here today to mark what is known as World Health Day. We're demonstrating for our human right to health care here in the United States of America. We chose to demonstrate here in front of the largest hospital facility in the state of Maine, not because we wanted to protest Maine Medical Center. Rather, we are here to protest because as a result of our government's refusal to recognize our human right to health care, millions of Americans are locked out of the health care system in this country, locked out of hospital facilities just like this one, locked out of clinics and doctor's offices and pharmacies, and crammed instead into overcrowded emergency rooms across the U.S. Because we can't let those revolving doors fool us. We may not be able to see the bars and chains and razor wire, but they're there all right. Only the trick is that they keep some of us out while letting some of us in. But for those of us who can't get in, we know that that razor wire and those bars are there. They're drawn hard and fast by the cold measured pen strokes of government policy and government complicity. Year after year, these barriers are drawn harder and faster as deeper cuts are made to already underfunded Medicaid and Medicare programs, as premiums, prescriptions, and corporate profits together soar, all the while wages and household income stagnate. For those of us who do manage to get past these barriers and checkpoints, we later find ourselves strangled by mounting medical bills that cripple us financially, evidenced by the fact that over 52% of the bankruptcies in this country result from health care bills. Healthcare, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Healthcare isn't something only some of us need some of the time. Healthcare is something that all of us need all of the time. Yeah. And it's so it's something that we all of us need all of the time. It's a human right. It's a matter of justice. But as Doctor, the, the Reverend Doctor Martin Luther King once said, of all the forms of inequality, injustice in healthcare. It's the most shocking and inhumane. Here in the richest nation on earth, in the midst of state-of-the-art medical technology and unprecedented resources, it is shocking and inhumane that even one person among us suffers a lack of inadequate health care or a lack of adequate health care. And of course, it's not just one person, it's millions of us. This kind of preventable suffering amounts to wholesale cruel and unnecessary punishment. In the richest nation on earth, it is simply intolerable that millions of us must make impossible choices, like whether we heat our homes or buy our prescriptions, like whether we eat or go to the doctor. It's intolerable, it's unjust, it's shocking, and it's inhumane. The bottom line is that we shouldn't have to pay a premium for justice, but that's what we have today. Those who can afford insurance are paying and paying dearly just to insure themselves against gross systemic injustice, where private insurance companies are making ever skyrocketing profits, peddling what we really should be calling injustice policies, with which those of us who can afford it insure ourselves against the failure and neglect of our own government. Access to health care is literally, literally a matter of life and death. It has been well documented that those of us who don't have insurance get sicker and die sooner than those of us who have insurance. And if you can't pay in cold hard cash, you pay with your life. And some might say, oh, you're exaggerating. It's not that bad. But if you've ever had to ration or go without your prescriptions, or not been able to see a doctor or a dentist, or not been able to get the tests you needed, or find out what's wrong with you in time to treat it, or watch the loved one suffer or die from a preventable disease, no, it is that bad. We can't afford to be patient. We can't afford to wait. We demand our human rights to health care right now. Not tomorrow, not yesterday, but right now. Oh, I heard a heckler say uh, to us, uh, get a job. And uh, that's an easy response. But I'd like to point out something, because we're always talking about dollars and cents. General Motors is collapsing of its own weight and laying off thousands and thousands of people. And one of the reasons General Motors is collapsing because they can't afford to support their health care benefit program. If we operate under universal health insurance, then General Motors might be able to thrive and provide jobs so people so people would have a job.
took back my dignity. I took back, took back my humanity. And now it's under my feet, under my feet, under my feet, under my feet. Under my feet. Yeah, we're the sickest country in the first world. 